If you've ever watched a professional football match, you will have noticed a lot of those big white lenses in the hands of the photographers seated around the field. Today's high-speed digital autofocus cameras, used in tandem with those fast telephoto lenses, allow us to achieve a level of image quality that was unimaginable just a few years ago. My basic kit when I cover a match includes two EOS 1D Mark III bodies, an EOS 5D body, three zoom lenses, the 24-70-2.8, the 70-200-2.8 IS, and the 400-2.8 IS. If I know the light is going to be poor, I sometimes opt for the 135 f2 instead of the 70 to 200 2A. It's one of my favorite lenses with great bokeh, and it's one of the sharpest lenses that Canon, or anyone else for that matter, makes. I also always carry a 1.4 teleconverter and enough compact flash memory cards to store all the pictures I'm going to take. Once the match begins, I shoot with the 400 2A on one of my 1D Mark III's, often with the teleconverter attached and the 70 to 200 to 8 on the other. The 400 to 8 is always mounted on a sturdy monopod. The 24 to 70 to 8 is on the 5D for those times when the action happens right in front of me. I prefer to work with the 400 to 8 and the 1.4 converter rather than carry both a 400 to 8 and a 600 millimeter f4 lens. The optical quality of the 400 to 8 with the 1.4 converter is superb and it gives me the option of two distinct long focal lengths. It doesn't take long to remove or add the converter, and I only have to carry one big lens. If I'm focusing on one particular player, I tend to use the longer combination. For a slightly looser view of the action, I'll stick with the 400 8 by itself. I try to travel as lightly as I can, and this approach really helps. There are times, however, when I might bring a third 1D Mark III body, at the World Cup, for example, to use with a 300 8 or as a remote camera behind the goal on a small tripod with a wide-angle lens. This entire basic kit fits in a roller case and a shoulder bag. If I have to fly to a match, they stow easily in the overhead and under the seat on the airplane. By the way, I never check cameras and lenses when I fly, because if for some reason my bags don't arrive when I do, I can't work. If your kit isn't as extensive as this, don't worry. It's worth remembering that photographers were making good football pictures for years with equipment that didn't come close to what we have to work with today. The important thing is to concentrate on making the best pictures you can with the equipment you have while trying to improve and hopefully expand the equipment options in your kit as you progress.